Throw it up, throw it up. Watch it all fall out. Throw it up, throw it up. That's how we ball out. I'm taking on this new challenge in my life. Stepping outside the box. Trying to see what results. And I'm very excited. Thank you to all the love and everybody that I'm in the challenge to be the ultimate Miami girl. This doesn't seem to be a beauty pageant. It seems to be a reality show. And I started to read up on it. And, and it's basically that. You, you go through a series of competitions. And they um, basically trying to see who, who has what it takes to represent Miami. You know, it's. You see a lot of girls showing um, the nightlife and partying and, and all that good stuff, which we all know Miami is, is like Vegas. You know, you only you come to Miami, you party in Miami, you yeah. never forget it. You waste However, money, get drunk, you exactly. Know. However, there's more to that. You know, we have a, a beautiful... Well, you let me know what it is? I've been living here for how long? And... I, I want to know what else, what, else is, what else is it to do in Miami, like for real. We got some of the, the most beautifulest time. women. That's right. The weather is great, That's so they right. always have naked. Yeah. We got beautiful beaches, great clubs. I mean, drink, party, weather. What, what else yes, is it to do? Yes, but there's a flip side to that. What's you know, that? You when you're on vacation, what else is that? You're not working. Okay, that's vacation, but for those of us that live in Miami. Uh -huh. What's the other side? You know, we have all the intelligent women that are the doing something from themselves they're doing the fashion shows you know uh -huh. they're putting together different venues mm -hmm. for the community mm -hmm. whether it's a charity event mm -hmm. there's a whole lot you mm -hmm. know you could take miami to the next level I'm and i'm ready baby but you can't change that's like <laughs> i'm down for <laughs> i'm down <laughs> listen i'm down i'm down for all of that like really i am but the reality of it is, it's like trying to change the image of Vegas, trying to change that image of Cali, trying to change that image of New York or Atlanta. Like, it is what it is. Like, you could do all these. All I'm not these trying to things. change the image of I mean, Miami. Miami, Miami. I'm trying to amplify that. Listen, you know what I'm saying? I'm, we both know Miami is the next mecca. Actually, I think to this day, right now, as we speak, is the mecca of entertainment. Um, you know, you got Kardashians doing their reality show here in Miami. Mm -hmm. You got people doing their movies, concerts, like everything when it s steps foot on Miami. They're missing Claudia in Miami. Oh, okay. They don't there have we me go. doing something. There we they don't go. have me representing, okay. you know, my okay. New Yorkers, my Dominicans, my Haitians. You know, I got a little bit of representation. I got to give oh, it up to Miami. That's right. So that's the only thing missing there. That's right. The Dominican Diva. That's, come on. We're going to take that billboard Whoa, with the dog man. pulling the girl's underwears. We're going to take that billboard down because I think that's been up for about 40 Hello. years. That's been up for about 40 years. And we're going to put the Dominican <laughs> Diva up there. So as soon as you hit there, you head to South Beach, you already know what it is. That's right. Are you excited? I'm extremely ecstatic. <laughs> I'm, I'm beyond excited because I really honestly didn't never saw myself taking this challenge. I've never been an advocate for taking risks in my life. I think that at this point in my life, I, with the taking on the boutique, Lady Lux, everybody. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. We're going to get you into You know, that. With, with taking on the ownership of the boutique and, and mm -hmm. now, you know, I saw this opportunity and, and just taking this, this on my hands as well. I'm just, you know, excited to to have the opportunity to do this, and I'm like, okay, when am I gonna do this? I really want to do this. It's like a dream, and I'm not getting any younger, so I'm like, why not? Let well, me try it. I'm gonna be honest, man. You know what they say that the person who doesn't succeed is the person who doesn't try. Exactly. And I think that a lot of people get into that zone where I don't want to gamble what I already have. Because I'm scared of failing. That's exactly. But without failure in, in a new in a new uh, playing learn. field, you'll never learn and you can never succeed. Get up. So I, I'm, I'm, I definitely applaud you, knowing you for so many years and knowing you to be a hard worker. <laughs> I mean, granted, like when it comes down to listen, let me get on my ground, let me get my money. But now, wanting to step out and say, if I could put that same energy behind somebody else who writes me a check, why well, I can't do it for me? Exactly. And and being that. 
you know, I'm a, like I said, I'm going to let the connection over being that you have a significant other who is in the industry. Right. That's basically the mentality he has to have. Mm-hmm. Because as soon as he loses that mentality, he loses it. Right. There's no clock in, clock out. Right. So now for you to step out on that limb. Throw it up, throw it up. Watch it all fall out. Throw it up, throw it up. That's how we ball out. Throw it up, throw it up. Watch it all fall out. Throw it up, throw it up. That's how we ball out. Strip clubs and dollar bills. Still got my money. Patron shots gonna get a refill. Still got my money. Strippers gone up and down that pole.